A possible breakthrough for leukemia. It's a small study, but it's big enough news to share with the world, and we'll meet the woman who made it happen. Nightly News begins now. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. As we've been telling you here tonight, there is some good news to report in the fight against cancer. An experimental treatment for leukemia is having extraordinary results beyond any expectations. How often do we get to say that? It's small so far, but the results are big enough to get out to the world. And tonight, as our chief science correspondent Robert Bazell reports, if it hadn't been for one woman who suffered a loss, this very promising research might not have happened. Bill Ludwig says doctors told him without the experimental treatment, he would have had only weeks to live. I'm now in a position of full health, no cancer in my system. Ludwig is only one of three patients who have gotten the novel treatment for the most common form of leukemia called CLL. But the results out today are so spectacular that many believe it could mark the beginning of a major advance in cancer treatment. And in each of those patients, more than a two pound or two of tumor was eradicated. The team at the University of Pennsylvania removed white blood cells that normally fight infections, genetically engineered them with a harmless form of HIV to make them attach to and kill cancer cells and return them to the patients in one infusion. How good were those results compared to your expectations? The results exceeded our expectations quite a bit. Our entire team is really excited. Uh, we and, and as well, the patients are excited. Why only three patients? The research concept was so new that neither the National Cancer Institute nor pharmaceutical companies would fund it. And how does he sound? But Barbara Netter did. She and her late husband, Edward, started a charity to fund new ideas after their daughter-in-law, Kim, died of breast cancer. We wanted to do something more. I uh, hope to do something more. So here it's just full of leukemia and here it's gone. Now with his first success, like money from the government and drug companies is pouring in, not just for the further testing on leukemia patients, but to try the concept for other cancers, including ovarian and prostate. It will take years to know if the initial excitement is justified, but for now, three lives have been saved. Robert Bazell, NBC News, Philadelphia.